Giant Desert Centipede. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to be bitten by the Giant Desert Centipede. Here we go. Ah! What is Ooh. that? Oh my gosh, it's so much worse than a bullet ant sting. Ah! What was that? statement to say that I am no stranger to pain, as over the past two years, I have arguably taken more intentional bites, ah! chomps, pinches, ah! and stings than any other human being. Ah! Some people say that I am absolutely crazy, while you others are. have labeled me as being admirably fearless. Ah! However, ah! I describe myself as a passionate educator who has endured these wild experiments so that we can all learn about animals and ultimately take away from my discomfort a newfound respect for these oftentimes misunderstood creatures. So while I might be a little crazy, I certainly am not completely fearless and have made it very clear that there are only two creatures on this planet that make my skin crawl. The first is infamously known as the toe biter. Scientifically, this alien-looking creature what is, is addressed as the giant water bug, and its bite, which is inflicted with a needle-like 5, rostrum, 000. is unbelievable. Hold up. 5,000 gifted sub from Vibes. Thank you very much. Hey, later sub train. It's good knowing you, dude. Unlucky. 300 bits from Swagger. Thank you. Admit you ever try to rocket ride yourself by using a jump pad and stairs above you as you shoot, you land on your own rocket. No, I haven't, actually. Since we first featured one of these insects several years ago, the Coyote Pack has been requesting both a bite and aftermath episode. So I faced my fears. Damn! Safely caught one. Bon appetit, bro. I got some Domino's pizza land over. Thank you, brother. Appreciate the time, man. These giants, and then in poetic fashion, let it latch on and bite my toe. Uh, it was a pain that uh, I will never forget. Uh, a fear that I proudly conquered in the name of science and education. My second fear needs no elaborate introduction. Already know what it is. Oh, shit. And yes, I will be bitten by the giant desert sentinel. Oh my god, dude. Look at that thing, bro. Look at it! Predators can occasionally be encountered when exploring the deserts love, of the you so southwest. Much, and whether you stumble upon one under the light of day, as it disappears into a burrow, or you happen to bear witness to one as it hunts under the darkness of night, the reaction by most is usually the same. Screaming, running in the opposite direction, Bro. and then mentally navigating a thick cloud of disbelief for what your eyes had just seen. What giant, is that? leg-covered, venomous fang-wielding terror that could only have materialized Dude, within I'm getting one's most horrifying chills, bro. nightmare. However, this is no bad dream, and it's certainly no figment of your imagination. In fact, this animal is as real as it gets, and for me, the moment you have all been waiting for is closer than you think. Thank you for the two months, con man. That's right here, right on the other side right, of this bush. Right, right. Wow, look at that! Hold on a second, let me try to bring it out here for you guys. Pick it up with this. Here. 
Oh, no, no, it's moving. Here, give me that Tupperware container. Mario, get that container out of your bag. Here, use your hat, use your hat. Oh, it's not working. Get it? No, 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 it's so fast. I can't grab onto it. Ah, hurry, hurry, hurry. I got a pin. Oh, oh there he goes. Oh, oh, got out. Oh, oh, oh my God. Nice. Oh, you see the way it moves. Woo. That is a big centipede. <sighs> The that way it moves, it looks like the way I dance, racing. dude. The bite from this creature is one of the most painful here in the Southwest. And if there's one creature that gets my heart racing, it is the giant desert centipede. Wow, that is a big one, too. You see that through the container there? That might be the biggest one I've seen. It very well may be. Wow, you're looking at a living nightmare right there. Look at that thing. That is creepy, man. Oh, my gosh. I can't tell you how many people have requested me to get bitten by this creature. It's a lot. Mm. It's a lot of people have been wanting to know how bad the bite is from this thing. Cute thing? Hell no. That I thing ain't cute. Your grinding. It's got me a little nervous. Well, well I'm definitely something. not going to do it under the darkness of night. What I might be willing to do is sleep on it, and maybe tomorrow, under daylight, we consider it. But You're just going to keep right it in your mom's no, for now, though? Absolutely not, but... I gotta admit, part of me is curious, but part of me is just incredibly fearful. You're shaking your head now. Yeah, I'm. I don't know if I'm comfortable with that, man. This, this is. Not a bite yeah, thank you for the sub, man. Half Asian kid, thank you for the ten months. Well, let's do this. We can certainly hold on to it overnight. Worst case scenario, we do another episode with it tomorrow. Just kind of look at it. It's anatomy under the light of day, and we. Cross well, up thank you, brother. How about that? Okay, I can agree to that. Okay, well, let's hold on to it and uh, see what else we can find tonight. Woohoo! That's gonna top off the night right there. Great spot, dude. Man, that's crazy. Chat, what a fun, what a fun job, dude. You know? Imagine being the cameraman. Reed, thank you for the sub, dude. Wait, is that noise? Is that noise it like moving its legs against the glass? Listen. Let's wait, listen, listen, listen. Are those birds? When they say giant desert centipede, they aren't kidding. Look at the oh, size okay, birds. of that myriapod. Wow. It's even more uh -huh, intimidating yes. in the daylight Myriapod, than it is big at night. Words. Now, we caught this creature last night, and I said, all right, let's hold on to it. Let me sleep on it. Let me think if I really want to be bitten by this creature. Ah! Here we are, 7 o'clock in the morning. I think we all know what's going to happen. All right, guys, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be bitten by the giant desert centipede so that I can explain to you just how painful the bite from this creature really is. Now, before we get into the bite, let's take a look at the anatomy of this Chat, creature. Chat, that's not it's birds, just, bro. It's like the perfect design for everything that is creepy. Now, it is an arthropod. Yeah, it's like scratching the fucking glass, dude. Look at it. It's also related to millipedes. And when it comes to centipedes, the giant desert is the largest in the United States. And this is a creature that you don't often come across because they're strictly nocturnal. Now, it is so hard to sit behind hey, this up, container and look at this creature. I mean, you can hear its little legs scratching on the inside See? of this capsule. Yeah. I'm right! I mean, Mark, seriously, have you ever seen a creature that's more nightmarish than this? Nope. And it's I know the first, that this man. It's the first, three hundred. Well, people ah, often want to know, is there birds. anything that scares coyotes? I jump birds. on alligators, I jump on swamps to catch birds. turkey turtles, I handle black Fuck widows and golden my hands. weave spiders, but the centipede, ever since I was a kid, for some reason, just, just always been like, uh, I don't want to get near that thing, because it has so many legs, and each one of those legs has a little hook on it, so when they grab onto something, they grapple onto something, and when they bite, those fangs ratchet down and they hold on. So this is not necessarily a bite and run, this could be a bite and hold. Yes, uh, you know, when I've been stung by things in the past, I hold on to them with the entomology forceps. And when I do that, I let go, the insect usually falls right off of my arm. But in this instance, Bro, this myriapod is run. capable of holding on to me and inflicting more than one bite. Wait, what? All right, well, 
Yo, Let's do this at this point. I know you guys want to get a slightly hey. better look at it. I'm going to actually take it out of this plastic container so we can get a good look at its body segmentation and the little hooks on those feet. You ready for that? Okay, let's do it. All right, I have to do that. Bro. I'm going to just gently... Gently what? Whoa. Oh my God, look at it! Oh the movement, the pacing! What is he doing? Oh, oh, oh fuck that! Yes, it is. Oh now, Coyote, they, oh, I've heard this called the cheetah of the desert. Yes. That is because they are speedy and they are lethal. Let me see if I can actually... Bro, there's no way, bro. He's too slick. Man. We might need a bigger set of forceps. Give up! Give no up! way to go about this. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine he kills it right now. He just crushes that bitch. He just picked it up with his hands? What? That was a committed grab if I've ever seen Ooh. one. Ouch, Ooh. ouch, ouch, ouch. Ooh, What's each, wrong? Is it biting you? No, but each one of these little leg segments <laughs> is... <laughs> the fucking cameraman. What's wrong? Is it biting you? <laughs> yeah, dude, it's biting him. Incredibly sharp. Look at that body. Wow, and it is incredibly Dude, wow. rigid. The exoskeleton on this animal's rock solid. And each one of those little leg segments grapples onto you and it tries to pull itself down so that the fangs can bite. Now those fangs are actually called maxilliped and they are modified legs on... Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, god. Oh, Almost got me No, right no, there. no, that motherfucker! Put it back! Put it back! <laughs> Have as good a hold as I thought back, I did. Dude. I can actually see venom coming out of the maxilli pad. Wow, look at those. Okay, that's a slightly better hold. It almost is <laughs> capable of completely wrapping its body down and inflicting that bite sooner than we wanted it to. Wow, that is intimidating. Okay, not an easy animal to hold on to because it is so incredibly strong. All right, guys, I'm gonna place it back into the plastic container here. Wait, Take what? a minute to compose For myself, what? and then it's already in your hand, dude. We're gonna head into the bite. You ready? Just do oh, dude, and I couldn't, I couldn't pick it up again, bro. I couldn't pick it up again. Nice. Woo! Barely escaped a bite there. All right, guys, let me give you a little testimonial here. So as we know, I have taken many bites. Some of them non-venomous, some of them venomous, lots of stings, and the giant desert centipede is the one animal that I always thought to myself, you know what, I never want to be bitten by that creature. But I have the opportunity to do this, and I guess part of me is doing it for curiosity, part of me is doing it for science, and part of me is doing it to find out just how painful this bite really is. Now I've heard from several different sources that it could be more painful than a rattlesnake bite, a not as painful as a sea monster, which I've been bitten by, and some people say it's no more painful than a honeybee sting. So what? it's all about how my body reacts to the venom. Now it is going to attack my red blood cells and I don't know what that will do. Uh, it could potentially rot a hole in my arm, it may just cause some localized swelling and pain and I may be just fine. Um, but I kind of climbed the insect sting the index, of this, uh, index. Three months. and I feel when it comes to bites, this has got to be the last one. The bite of a centipede is unbelievably painful. Never attempt to catch? Dude, this is the first warning that he's put on a video chat. We've watched all the sting videos. None of them have had a warning before he's done it, dude. Handle or interact with one of these animals, and more importantly, never attempt to recreate the following experiment. <clears throat> oh boy, this just became a reality. Wow, there it is, the giant desert centipede, and I'm about to be bitten by it. Okay, well, the next thing we need to do is actually get it out of this plastic container, and to do that, I'm gonna gently go in and pin it. Ready? Yep. Bro, the way its back legs move around his arm, dude. Ah! Okay. Fuck Hold that, on. bro! Ow, 
Man, those little legs are digging into me. Woo! You Look see the way thing. it goes? My goodness. Okay. Now, I do, as always, have an epinephrine pen. I'm just stating that for the record. And... What's that? that? Emergency satellite phone. Always important. Never had to use it. Please don't let today be the first time. Camera three rolling. GoPro is rolling. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Okay, are we just gonna ignore the fact that the GoPro was already rolling, but then he like touched it and said, okay, GoPro is rolling, dude. Are we just gonna ignore that or we're gonna let it slide? All right, we're gonna let it slide. Let's carry on. I'm Coyote Peterson. And I'm about to be bitten by the giant desert centipede. Here we go. One. Oh, later, subtrain. Two. Three. Ooh! Ooh, it's in there, bro! Ah! Bro, he's in there! Ah! 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 That motherfucker went out. Ah. Eat the booty ah. like grocery, dog. Oh my gosh. Right there, there's the fangs. When you see those puncture marks. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> Grab the pain. Ah. Immediately searing. Oh my gosh, it's so much worse than a bullet ant sting. Ah. Oh. Ah. 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 Ah! 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 This is searing my skin. Oh my gosh, this is the worst pain I've felt since the Elmer's puppet hands. This absolutely Bro. just completely eclipses all the insect stings I've taken. Really? Ah! 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 How sharp are the fangs? Hold on a second. Bro. Oh Freaky my gosh. My man is tapping out. <sighs> Ah! Oh, ah! I can see where they went in right there. Ah! Double chomp. Ah! Holy Could you even shit. see that? It bit and like curled the skin up and then let go and bit a Saved! second time. Yeah. Ah! Oh wow. Ah! Oh, look at it. He's got four bites. Let's see if blood come to the surface. Talk to me, talk to me, talk Jesus to me. Jesus Christ! I gotta, I gotta know you're not like in serious trouble yet, you talk to me. It's a different pain than any sting I've taken. It's searing. Well, it look at, he's fucking, it's searing. nibbling on his skin particles. Ah. Delicious. Ah. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't compose words right now, man. Ah. Ah. You let me know if you feel like you're in trouble. Yeah. Any swelling in the mouth? I need some water, I need some water. Holy oh shit. God. Dude, he is, he is losing it. He is actually losing it. He is, oh, it's GG's, man. Hey, hey, chat. Biru, biru. Describe me where you feel the pain. Is it just like the smoke like the, the bite? Oh, it's going up my arm. It is going up my arm just like the Venom and Heal Monster. Man, look at the welts that are forming on my arm. Dude, we might need to use that venom extractor. Wait, what? This is... <laughs> Bro, he's gone. He's going to the hospital. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Cut the cameras, cut the cameras. Cut we the cameras. Get extracted. We gotta get some venom on my arm. What? Ah. Oh, I'm serious. Cut the, cut the cameras, cut the cameras. Ah. Bro, what's happening? Is he gone? Never before had I asked for the cameras to be turned off during a bite or sting episode. Never before had I been in such uncontrollable pain. And never before had we not completed an episode.
Bro, somebody get my mana slurp juice. Oh my god. Bro. If you thought this episode was intense, stay tuned for the epic conclusion as we show you exactly what happened to me after I was bitten by the giant desert centipede. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. All right, I mean, he, sur he survived. He had to record the outro, you know. So, well, that was kind of a spoiler. Fucking idiot.